Mr. Khan's party strongly favors negotiations, but a statement said that he would probably prefer to assist the peace process in another role. PM Nawaz Sharif returned to power last May promising talks with the Taliban. Deadly attacks have continued and Mr. Sharif said this week he was giving peace a last chance by naming a team. The Taliban said it would consider the offer of talks and has now responded. Sincerity The team named by the Taliban on Saturday comprises Mr. Khan, the chief cleric of Islamabad's Red Mosque, Maulana Abdulaziz, and three top religious party leaders, Maulana Sami Ul Haq, Mufti Kifayat Alay, and Prof Ibrahim Khan. Shahid Allah Shahid, a spokesman for the Tariqi Taliban Pakistan, TTP, hold agents France Pressy News Agency, the committee members will hold talks with their interlocutors, in the government's team, on our behalf, and put forth our point of view. Mr. Khan's Pakistan Tariqi Inzaf, PTI, party has strongly backed talks. A statement said he was unlikely to take the role, but stood ready to help the peace process. Maulana Abdulaziz told AFP, I will continue to be part of the committee if the government shows sincerity in looking into Taliban demands, and of course the major demand is enforcement of Sharia law in the country. Interior Minister Chaudhrini Zarali Khan said on Sunday that the Taliban's announcement of its team was positive. It is a matter of great satisfaction that both sides have announced their negotiating teams after many years, and this reflects that both sides want to make peace through negotiations and dialogue, Don newspaper quoted him as saying. Mr. Sharif's team comprises veteran journalists Ray Himalar Yusuf Zari and Irfan Siddiqui, former Ambassador Rustam Shah Momand, and a retired major in the ISI Intelligence Service, Amir Shah. In a rare address to the National Assembly on Wednesday, Mr. Sharif said terrorism must be defeated, either by talks or force, and he was giving peace a last chance. The leader of the Pakistani Taliban, Hakim Allah Mazad, was killed in a U.S. drone strike in November, and his successor, Malafat Slala, had ruled out peace talks and promised revenge. However, after Mr. Sharif's speech, Mr. Shahid said the Taliban was ready for meaningful negotiations provided the government shows sincerity of purpose. No time frame has been set for the talks. Scores of people have been killed this month alone, many of them soldiers, as the militants attacked military and civilian targets across the country.